That's so impossible well, That's not supposed to go there Doesn't know me well oh, Cause I know That today holds more Yeah, so much more so much
and today I want to show you the differences between our Gidget 1 table and our Gidget 2 table. By the looks of them, they both look the same. They're the exact same size, they're 40 by 19 and 3 fourths, and are 28 and a half inches tall. The differences lie in that the Gidget 1 table has a smaller opening. It's 17 by 7 and 3 eighths inches tall. It's also made of particle board, where our Gidget 2 table is made for the bigger sewing machine. So it's 24 by 12. It's made of a tougher MDF to support those heavier machines, as well as we've got a bevel around here for your insert so it'll lay flat. And then the last thing it has is it has two wheels, so when you fold it up, it'll be more portable. One of the things we wanted to kind of go over with you is when you got the machine or the platform down, you definitely do not want to have your machine on here when you're moving it up and down. You can break the mechanism. And you always want to hear this sound when you grab the handle. You want to hear that because that means it's in locked in position. Sometimes if you've got it down, you may think it's locked, but it's actually not when you push down on it. So make sure that you hear that sound. Coming over here, the other thing we want to go over with is securing the legs. It's very important in both cabinets that you put your leg support in, like so, and then you step on it to hear this sound. Both legs, you want to hear that nice tight sound because that make, makes it secure. Moving over to the Gidget 2, it comes with a Velcro strap, and essentially all this is is you're going to take both of the legs, wrap the strap all the way around nice and tight and what this will do is it'll create a natural handle up here from the legs you'll grab it and the wheels are on the bottom so you can wheel this to class in your RV or under your bed there are two other videos on our website that we want you to look at which are called sturdy gidget is one of them the other one is called adjusting the mechanism thanks Hi, I'm Heather from Arrow. Our most commonly asked question on our Gidget tables, our 601 table and our new Gidget 611 table, is is the table sturdy and is it stable when I sew and embroider? To ensure that your table is both sturdy and stable, you first need to make sure the steel legs are locked. To know if the steel legs are locked, you will need to listen for this sound. We find the best method is to step on the locking mechanism. The last thing to check is that your sewing well is also locked. The release mechanism can look like it's in the locked position, but the well will fall. Pull the release mechanism forward and listen for it to hit the top to ensure it's locked. Here's Joe sewing on her Gidget 601 table at high speed. As long as your table legs are locked, we feel confident enough to put fill on top of the table while Joe sews. Here's Joe sewing on our new Gidget 2 611 with this large Bernina 830 machine. Here's Joe embroidering on our new Gidget 2 611 with this large Bernina 830. Notice we've chosen a bouncy satin stitch to show the stability of our Gidget 2.